Today we're just going for a bit of a walk across this grouse moor. Uh, not to photograph the grouse, but for landscape photography. There's these wonderful rocky hills in the background that I've always wanted to go explore. So this is a, a first time exploration along this route. It's a, a bit windy though, as you might be able to hear, but it should be a good, it looks like it should be a good sunset. There's a lot of clouds, and but they're not in one mass. There's light penetrating through the clouds and it looks really good as it moves across the landscape. So, fingers crossed we get some good light as we go on and I can get a couple images. I've just stuck down into this grouse butt to get out of the wind a little bit so I can talk <laughs> a bit easier. I've just got the first shot that I'm really happy with. I took a couple earlier when I started walking but I'm not sure if they've turned out all right. You will know as you will have seen them already if they have. If they hadn't it's probably because I just couldn't get the settings right and the rain was hitting the element so they probably didn't work out, but if they did, I hope they're good. Um, but this one I'm really happy with. I just shot it handheld with my 70 to 200 on my camera because I wasn't sure if it was going to work out. The light is moving um, and changing all the time so I'm just trying to shoot as much as possible as quickly as possible. So I had my 70 to 200. I went at about 200 to be honest and um, I shot handheld and the reason that I got I decided to shoot this picture was because of the layers that you could see that there were some brilliant layers between the dark mountains in the foreground and then a medium grey in the middle and then a lighter at the back and then there's still the sky above it so I really just like the simplicity of that contrast and and layers that built the image so I'll just check what settings I used because I'm not entirely sure off the top of my head so it was at ISO 100, f11, 1 200th of a second handheld and there's no highlights blown out and there's some definition in the clouds and it's, I think it's going to look really good in black and white once I get it into Lightroom.
um, but there's still a bit to go on our trek up the hill so we've just got to see what else comes to my mind as we walk who knows oh there's a rainbow I didn't move this oh just a rainbow massive one really pretty I got a couple of shots from here but they're not very good but I'll put up a, one of them now and it's just the rainbow with the landscape below it there was nothing that I could frame with the rainbow So I ran up the hill over the track. As I got up onto the other side, there were these sheep running over the hill right in front of the rainbow. So I think I got a really good shot of the sheep with the bit of a rainbow in it. I'll have to, I'm looking forward to seeing that one. To be honest, I think it'll be quite fun. Oh, really can't stop on this one. Oh. Right, let's carry on. Oh. I don't know if you could make it out but those red grouse just flew in front of me as I was walking which is back cool. Made it up to the top of the crag that we were heading for. I'm gonna have a little look around to see if I can find any compositions, but there's a couple that are coming to mind. It's just whether I can frame them up right. We'll just have to see.
So with that long lens, I was just trying to isolate these ridges on the hill and it was catching this lovely orange light from the sun and I was just trying to create a sort of abstract, intimate com composition that focused in on the light and the contrast that the, between the shadows and the sun on these ridges on this hill. Um, but I'm not sure how it's turned out, so I'll see you in the future. angle and I'm shooting this rocky rocky outcrop because it, it just I really I really like the rocky outcrop. Beyond it is the Cairngorm mountain range as well which looks fantastic and the sun has just dipped behind So after shooting handheld for a bit I've just set up the tripod and I've got a really nice composition with the, that rocky outcrop forming the main subject and a leading line to the background beyond. Sorry, I haven't set you up on a tripod. <laughs> anyway, um, so I've also put on the polarizer and a four-stop soft grad to bring in the highlights of the clouds and it looks really good. I'm really happy with how it's turning out. So the settings for this one are ISO 100, as always, F10 and one fifth of a second. I'm just hoping that I can get some light just causing a bit of shadow on this rock. Uh, see what the sun does, but it looks really good either way. And uh, I hope you like it because I think it was worth the effort this time. just some amazing light so I actually threw on my six stop filter so with the polarizer that gives me eight stops of slowing down the image and it is working out really well as the the wind has picked up a bit and it's pushing the clouds through the frame and that's just helping smooth them out a little bit and there was this wonderful golden light hitting on the rocks here so I th I'm really happy with it so it's the exact same composition as before but this time with that six stop adding a different element so I'd be interested to know which one you think is better if you could 
write it down in the comments, that would be really good. I don't think there's going to be any sunset colours up here today mainly because there's a bit of like rain clouds over here towards the west and I think that that's just going to block out the light completely. So I'm just going to finish up with this one and head back down the hill. Now on the way I am of course going to be keeping an eye out for any more pictures that I can get but I don't think I'm going to get anything to be honest. If I do I'm going to cut to it now. So if I didn't cut there that means that I didn't see anything on the way back, the light just faded out. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, don't forget to subscribe. It is really greatly appreciated. It keeps me motivated to keep making more videos. And hopefully I can get some more good stuff as the week progresses. I don't know what we're gonna do next, but I'm sure it will involve landscape photography. <laughs> Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.